Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Wodge, and in this video we'll be doing a quick unboxing and overview of the new DJI Phantom 3 Professional. We're going to be taking a look at what comes inside the box, then we're going to do a little tour around the flight controller and the DJI Phantom drone itself. And lastly, we obviously have to take it on a quick flight to see how it performs and to see what the quality is like on that brand new 4K camera. So without any further ado, let's get right into this unboxing. So let's get inside right into the box and see what the Phantom 3 actually comes with. Okay, now the first thing that we see is uh, our manual over here. So here we have the user start guide over here. It's going to tell you some basic information about the drone, the controller, and everything you need to kind of know. Nice. We have uh, some gold and silver stickers. Now, uh, I believe you get the professional version. It comes with the gold color, which is going to look pretty sweet. You also have a couple of different colors, kind of metallic red. That's kind of like a metallic purpley pink color and kind of a cool um, metallic blue color as well. Okay, moving forward. And here is the drone itself, so we'll take that out. It looks very similar to the Phantom 2 that I have. It already has the gold uh, stripes already, which is nice. It's already installed. Uh, and there is the camera unit right there with the gimbal. And we'll take a look at all this in uh, great detail later. It looks like the battery is already installed. And let's go on to the brand new control. Oh, wow, the controller feels a lot more hefty than the... Uh, than the Phantom 2 that I have. Okay, so here is the flight controller. I've taken all the plastic off and it feels completely different than what I'm used to. It uh, is pretty much identical to the uh, DJI Inspire 1 controller. It has plenty of weight and a lot of grip uh, on the back and on the side. So it gives you an excellent amount of feel and uh, rigidity and ergonomics are great on this controller as well. The controls feel very rugged and smooth, something that will last a long time. Uh, you can see that we have all the controls on the side for recording, uh, for your camera movements. Uh, we have dual antennas over here. Also, we have a, um, a mount over here that you can use for either a tablet or smartphone. So let's see if I can put my phone in here and see how that fits. Move that right there. And there we go, pretty simple. So pretty universal mount that'll work great with uh, any of your existing devices. And this is the great thing about this uh, drone that you know, no matter what kind of phone or tablet you have, iOS, Android, it's going to work uh, flawlessly. It has light bridge technology. So we're looking at a distance of over two kilometers. So really excited and hopefully I don't crash this thing, but uh, it should be a pretty great experience with this drone. So let's keep going. Uh, we probably have some extra props over here. So it looks like you have uh, two sets of props. So one will go on there. So you have a spare set, which is always nice. Moving forward, let's take a look at what comes inside uh, this box over here. So we have uh, the charger. This is basically a micro USB cable. So we have the charger for the battery itself, which uh, looks very similar to the last generation style. So pretty big brick there. And this little box contains, I'm not sure what. Oh, so, so here you have uh, some more, uh, I think these are the rubber dampeners for the gimbal itself, which I think already come pre-installed. So you have some extra one right there and you have some tools to remove the gimbal as well, which is nice. Now in terms of setup, if you're doing this for the first time, definitely check out the quick start guide. It has pretty much everything you need to know about every control aspect and uh, all the little things you need to do before doing a flight. There's also a detailed manual online, but uh, this will pretty much get you covered in terms of uh, most things. So to actually install the props is pretty easy. They're all kind of color coordinated, so there's really no mistake there. And to lock it, it's actually the other way that it spins because they're self-locking props. So all you gotta do is just do that and they'll lock themselves up and just repeat the process. Okay, so let me take you guys on a quick tour of the new Phantom 3 Professional. It's fairly similar to the other Phantom lineup of drones if you've ever encountered them before. But uh, pretty much at the top, there's nothing much but the props, which is pretty simple. At the back, we have the battery 
Now the battery has four indicator LED lights, which uh, if you basically press them in, they'll give you a, a status of how much juice is in there. So not much right now, so I'm gonna have to charge it before going on my flight. Removing is fairly easy, you just press these two tabs and uh, you can connect the charger port to charge your battery uh, right there. So fairly simple and straightforward there. On the bottom end, we have uh, basically the integrated antennas over here. And uh, obviously now we have uh, the built-in 4K uh, uh, camera right here with the DJI uh, Vision gimbal and uh, so that'll s stabilize everything and make your shots look very very smooth. There's a little piece of uh, foam right there that you want to remove when you first get it that basically helps the gimbal not be damaged when uh, during the shipping process so just take that off right there. So on the right side of the gimbal, we have a micro SD card slot. It actually comes with 16 gigs preloaded, which is nice. You're probably gonna want more, but it's still nice that DJI gives you something uh, just to start out with. And you're probably gonna want a fast card because this is gonna record 4K at a pretty high bit rate. Now the other thing I should mention is that we have four LED indicator lights. The, the rear lights actually tell you the status of your drone. So if it's a flashing a specific color, it'll tell you whether it has GPS lock or not. And you also want to calibrate the internal compass in it before you go on any flight as well. And you'll find all that information online as well as on the quick start guide. Now, let me take you through the, most of the controls that you'll find on the flight controller. Firstly, we have the two directional pads for your altitude and directional control. If you actually wanna turn on your drone for the first time, put a, both sticks a down like that and it'll turn on your props and it'll also turn off your props once you're landed. You have a return to home button right there as well as a uh, main power button for the flight controller itself. We have some LED indicator lights for status and a battery life of the controller itself. It has a built-in lithium ion battery and to charge it you have a port right there. So at the top portion of the controller we have two of the antennas over here. On uh, these uh, dials over here control your uh, gimbal and camera. So uh, this one over here controls your camera settings. This one over here controls uh, your gimbal angle. And uh, we have the record button for video. We have a capture button for stills right over there as well as a playback button. And uh, this little dial over here is going to control uh, what type of flight mode you're in. And again if you want more information about each of these flight modes, uh, check out the manuals as well as the in-depth instructional guide that you'll find on DJI's site. On uh, the bottom portion, we have uh, two USB connections. This is going to be primarily connecting your uh, smartphone or tablet uh, to the controller itself because you can monitor everything you're doing uh, that way. Okay, so now we have the DJI Phantom 3 Professional all set up. So let's go ahead and take it on its maiden voyage. So let's go ahead and uh, take off right over here and uh, we'll switch to the main 4K camera. And that way you guys have a good idea in terms of how it looks. We're obviously gonna have a full on a review of this thing coming up very soon and we're also going to compare it to uh, the Phantom 2 with a 4K GoPro camera to see what the differences are uh, between uh, these two. But really other than that guys that's really it. Make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know on what you guys think of the new Phantom 3 Professional. Would you be interested in getting a drone uh, like this? And I'd uh, love to hear all your comments and uh, thoughts uh, down below. Definitely give us a thumbs up if you like this video and we'll see you later. Take care.